CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 41 through 45. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 41. An employee complains that whenever they try to visit well-known websites, they are redirected to unfamiliar and potentially malicious sites. Despite clearing the browser cache, the problem persists. What action should be performed next in an attempt to resolve the issue? The answer is D. Inspect the local hosts file. The local hosts file is a text file used by the operating system to map host names to IP addresses. By manipulating entries in this file, malicious actors can redirect users to unintended websites when they attempt to access legitimate ones. In most cases, this redirection occurs before the browser even attempts to connect to the internet, making it an effective method for altering web traffic and potentially leading to browser redirection issues. Question 42. While setting up a new laptop for a remote employee, a technician wants to ensure that the device's data is securely encrypted in case it's lost or stolen. Which feature should the technician configure on the Windows OS to enable drive-level encryption on the laptop? The answer is B. BitLocker. BitLocker is a drive-level encryption feature in Windows OS designed to protect data by encrypting the entire disk volume. To configure BitLocker, a user typically needs to access the BitLocker drive encryption settings in the control panel or through the Windows security settings. From there, they can select the drive to encrypt, set up authentication methods such as a password, and follow the prompts to complete the process. Once enabled, BitLocker encrypts the drive, making it inaccessible without the proper authentication credentials. Question 43. A user needs to transfer files between different computers running various versions of Windows, including Windows XP, Windows 7, and Windows 10, using a USB flash drive. Which of the following file system types would be the most suitable to ensure read and write compatibility in this scenario? The answer is D. FAT32. FAT32 is widely compatible with multiple operating systems, including various generations and distributions of Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Its support for file sizes up to 4 GB and partition sizes up to 2 TB makes it suitable for USB flash drives across different platforms, ensuring read and write compatibility. Its simple structure also enhances ease of use and broad device support making it a popular choice for portable storage solutions. Question 44. Which of the following social engineering threats does a privacy screen on a computer monitor primarily mitigate? The answer is B. Shoulder surfing. Privacy screens are physical filters that limit the viewing angle of a screen making it difficult for individuals nearby to see the content unless they are positioned directly in front of the screen. This effectively prevents shoulder surfing, where unauthorized individuals attempt to view sensitive information by looking over someone's shoulder. Question 45. A company has a growing number of employees who work remotely or travel frequently. They need to ensure that these employees can securely access the company's internal network and resources from outside the office environment. What solution should the company implement to provide secure access to the corporate internet for remote employees? The answer is C. Set up a VPN. A VPN, or virtual private network, establishes a secure and encrypted connection between a user's device and a remote server. This connection acts as a tunnel through which all data traffic travels, protecting it from interception by unauthorized parties. By encrypting data packets and routing them through this secure tunnel, VPNs ensure privacy and security for users accessing resources across the internet. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. 
Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.